Oh, and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you that how to repair this uh, plate this is like measurement plate and now I have situation that this my plate is like stuck and this is really a professional level very well made plate but it is now stuck and this is sometimes possible to repair because now this my issue is that this plate it is like it goes out but not in in it is like only one way movement and how I can repair that kind of defects in my plate okay firstly we have to look that this is starting point and then when I rotate that in this area I can see that there there are screws one two three four and this repair starts so that I open these screws carefully and first I need my tool okay and now I need this Philips head this drill pipe and this drill pipe fits in these screws this is second and that one also and that one and all of these screws are easy to open and this is great okay and now when I notice that all of these screws are possible to open then I can take this my electric wheel driver because now these screws opens more faster and I start this my job in here okay but my drill pipe is wrong in this kind of jobs we need a set of these drill pipes and then I choose the smaller one and this fits in there very well okay let's replace this drill pipe now we have a smaller drill pipe and let's look this part opens nicely and there is long screw then I open next one and then I have third one of these screws and in this point we have to be really carefully because in inside of that plate and measurement plate there is very powerful spring and that's I recommend to you to use these glasses protective glasses because now we have risk that this powerful spring can fly to our eyes and it is really bad damage and that's now when I open this part I have to press these both sides in my fingers and then I can take this screw away and in this position now I have to open these these parts very carefully because I have experience now I let's look at how these parts opens I need now flathead screw flathead screwdriver and in this side area I carefully in this way I start to paint that okay it opens nicely good and this is still this is really exciting when I am worrying all time the spring how it flies in there and now we can take a little bit bigger view okay and this is this is really exciting because now, now I am all time worrying this spring that there it is how it flies let's look that because the spring is really and maybe I have to open even this 
side central screw also. Because it feels that it is like a little bit stuck. Okay, there is smaller screw. And let's look that now I I face this my plate in another direction because the spring is inside in here. Okay, very carefully. This is really exciting. There can be here big bang bang soon. Okay, good. And then I compress these all parts in my thumb look and now I am starting to think that why this my my blade is stuck and it seems that there is that area in here we have now too much these blades in here because this is like also break and that's maybe I, I is, remember to install finger in the central point and then I think that I have to remove this curve and this dent in here. And I take this all my plate now away in this way. Looks good. And now this my plate start to rotate. Look. Now it's flexible. Excellent. And then I can feel that this my spring works and now I think that I have to only manage to install this my plate this measurement area so that there is no any those big dents or pump areas in here everything looks good excellent really nice can you believe now I managed to repair this plate and there is spring in there, look, that area. There is really powerful long metallic spring and I managed to keep that in here because I compress this with my fingers and then final part is to install this cover back. And now I hope that sometimes this can fly but this goes nicely and then there was thing that these parts look goes nicely and it goes really well excellent and I, I have to say that this brand Come Lon the professional nylon coated plate this is really excellent measurement plate because I managed to repair that can you believe and there was my mistake this curve and this dent area and now I install these parts back this is first one and then this final funds okay cool and then final torch in my with my hands the hands is that meaning everything looks nice and and final test this moves now again in slow speed okay there is still this issue. Okay, let's go to open these parts again. What is there wrong? Why this is... Let's open these parts. Maybe these screws are too tight. It could be. Now I open those a little bit. Yes! There are situations that these screws actually this movement is not not very nice. Some parts are taking now contact. Let's go to look what is the where is the issue? Ok, 
carefully and why these parts are like they are not moving okay there's maybe this my paint in here can you see the screen I have, I have used that and here is also this paint but now this looks that this rotates quite nicely in here this movement is okay but why it how about then this brake there is brake system it looks like that and now I check that brake yes there is some file in here in that area okay now this my plastic brake is bad okay maybe if I take these moving parts away in that way also in here because these moving parts are bad they can do this jam and now the central area is fine and now I, I have to take also my knife because now this this area in here there is sharp items okay and then I take my sharp knife and I carefully I carefully remove these small plastic dents in here these areas that there is smooth connection interesting to see that can I repair that and then I remove these parts and now I think that this blades break is better and it goes it position it was in here in that area it is it is that how deep it goes or it is it is inside this is not so easy to install okay now it looks good this is good it is now in this face position good excellent and then I install this my cover back there is this steering blade, this black one. And now I, I have to close that. Okay. Now it moves better. not yet there is something something stuck in here something is stuck okay and I a little bit search that what is wrong in here okay and now I think that I found the issue when I look in that side area I noticed that this is like a little bit curve in that position and now when I rotate that we can see that there is peak this gap in here these are like plain that white material is like a little bit too up look that area now I rotate and in here this is too up in here and can I install that back in here this area it is like jump in here in this area how I can install this back This is because these three two plates parts are okay, but this is like jump up. Can I move that little bit? The central area. Now this is now this is even difficult. This is these parts. I have to move this one part in here in that area 
in back in there. How I can do that? Okay, this is complex. Okay, maybe I can take my screwdriver. Okay, and now I have very thin flathead screwdriver. And I, I try to move this area in here. Let's go to look closer, this area. I have to move this area similar like in here, look. These are similar, but this is not. This is difficult job, and I believe that maybe I can't do that. Because I am... I should lift that lower part in that way, good. But then also in this one. A little bit movement. Now I removed this part. Okay, good. And now I believe that this now these all areas are chained. Good. There is only thing that in one area there is small part missing. But now I think that maybe this my blade is still working. And now I can install these parts back. Parts back in here. That way, cool. Okay, good. Now this brake is in their position. And then I install this upper area. And then we test that how this works. Yes, now this works well. Excellent. And then, then we install these screws back. And, and screws. And then we look at how this plate now works. Now it's fine. Excellent. And now this job has been made successfully. There was two, two defects and the final part is to install the central, central screw in there. Okay. Good. And this was idea logic that how we can repair high quality tools like this my Comelon blade what has been last about now 20 years and now I repaired that and this value is how much this is in Home Depot or in some another store you can check but I believe that something like 20, 20 or 30 US dollars. Okay, I look that. Now this my blade works excellent because it's slow. Vast movement. Yes, I am very happy. Thank you, my friends, friends. And and if you are also happy, thumbs up and you have learned that how you can repair high quality these blades, measurement blades.